Hi everyone, glad to see you again. Let's welcome our friend Belmont the Bear for another story this week. Hi there friends, hold on to your hats because I have a story that's gonna make you wiggle with excitement. Have you ever heard about Noah and the adventure with the enormous boat? Oh Belmont, you always have the most thrilling stories. Do you mean Noah and the Ark? Oh, that's right. <laughs> well, you're in for a treat. Picture this. God looked down from heaven and saw the folks living in sin and disobedience. So what did he do? He tapped Noah on the shoulder and said, Noah, it's time for a grand adventure. A grand adventure? What happened next? God gives Noah the blueprint for the most jaw-dropping boat ever. An ark so colossal and big, it would make even the biggest cruise ship blush with envy. <laughs> wow, that sounds like a task. So what did Noah do? Noah rolled up his sleeves, grabbed his trusty tools, and got to work. Sawing, hammering, painting, you name it. Noah was on it. That ark was taking shape, and people began thinking Noah was going crazy. Why build an ark when there was no rain? Wow, that took great faith for Noah to trust God and to do as he says, even when he saw no rain. You betcha. And then get this, God, through his mighty and powerful way, sent in the animal parade, two of every critter marching up to the gangplank and onto the ark like they were boarding the fanciest cruise ship in town. Oh, wow. I can't imagine. Can you, can you imagine Noah's face? Absolutely. Elephants trumpeting, lions roaring, and even the turtles shuffling along. It must have been quite a sight. And let's not forget about the ducks waddling their way up on the ramp, quacking loudly with excitement. Oh, those silly ducks. Well, here comes the action-packed part. God decided it was time for waterwork extravaganza, rain pelting down for a whooping 40 days and 40 nights, turning the whole world into a giant water park, and not the fun kind. It was the dreadful for days for those who were not safe on the ark. Wow, 40 days and 40 nights? That sounds like a downpour. But I feel bad for those who weren't safe on the ark. It was a sad day, absolutely. But Noah and his crew weren't worried. They had faith in God to keep them safe from the flood waters like he promised. And guess what happened when the rain finally stopped? So what happened? A rainbow explosion. That's what, God painted the sky with the most magnificent rainbow you've ever seen promising never to flood the earth again. Oh, how marvelous. So every time we see a rainbow, I'll remember God's promise. You got it, Miss Sharon. And that, my friends, is a rip-roaring tale of Noah's Ark and our faithful God who always keeps his promises. Well, thank you, Belmont, for sharing. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you, everyone, for joining. We'll see you next time. Bye.